what is up everybody and welcome back to my massive asylum and also welcome back to history behind the horror episode number seven today we're going to be looking at everyone's favorite the wall rider now the wall rider is one of the most popular characters in the outlast story based on all the requests i got and by the comments now i thought the favorite character of outlast would probably be chris walker but eddie glueskin actually beats chris walker when it comes to popularity i guess because how they interact in the game and i guess i don't know it kind of gravitates more towards that person but the wall rider outbeats everybody for some reason even outbeat trigger i thought trigger was gonna be the best one in the game to me he's one of my favorite but that's besides the point but also before you start the video thank you so much for helping us reach over 300 subscribers and also thank you so much for all the interaction that you guys put in the comment section that really does motivate me to keep doing videos like this and try to get them out as fast as i can so thank you so much for that and also remember if you do enjoy this video please give it a like that does help me out a lot and also if you want if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do because you will not want to miss future videos that we are going to be looking at soon because we're going to get done with outlast pretty soon and we got a lot more games that we're going to be doing very very soon so thank you so much for that and i hope you guys enjoy the video the wall rider also known as the swarm is the main antagonist and the final enemy encountered in outlast in outlast the whistleblower it is the source of the madness that seems to infect most of the asylum's inhabitants and the deity of father martin's religion and his followers it is first fully seen at the start of the sewer chapter after escaping the prison block where it can be briefly seen towards the end of the chapter the wall rider is also encountered early on in the dlc While appearing ghostly in nature, the Wall Rider is actually a swarm of nanites, small nanoscopic machines which collectively possess great strength and power. It took possession over William Billy Hope. As it is shown in a document when Billy was undergoing morphogenic engine therapy, he learned to self-direct the lucid dream states. He was then capable of controlling the Wall Rider. As it is composed of nanites, it is nearly invisible to the human eye, only showing a faint black aura unless it comes very close to the proximity of the player. Miles can only see it clearly through the night vision of his camcorder. Despite having no actual bones, muscles, or internal support structure to speak of, the Wall Riders nanites are capable of immense physical strength and is the most physically powerful entity in the game. It can easily overpower any variant, including the large muscle-bound Chris Walker, as it is seen in the underground lab when Walker is brutally murdered. <laughs> Rider is relentless in its pursuit. While doors will slow its progress somewhat, it is capable of going underneath them. It is extremely difficult, if not impossible, for the Wall Rider to lose track of the player in a chase scene, only stopping once the player passes through a decontamination gate, which the Wall Rider cannot pass through. <laughs> Rider is seen multiple times throughout the game. Its presence can be seen in the courtyard scoundering the air as well as one encounter behind the locked gate. Project Wall Rider was the process of exposing patients to morphogenic engine therapy to create a suitable vessel for the nano swarm. For only a person that has seen enough horror can be the host. The aim was to create the perfect host for the Wall Rider so that it could become a sentient being as is evidenced by these notes, gods, and monsters, and variant postmortem. It is likely that the variants are the results of this procedure. Billy was capable of controlling the Wall Rider with his self-directed lucid dream states. However, because they were using only damaged and unstable minds to experiment on, the situation got out of control. The Wall Rider slaughtered everyone except one, Dr. Warnickel. Dr. Warnickel was kept alive by Billy at this time when Miles reached the underground lab. Dr. Warnickel, who thought to be dead, instructs Miles to disable the power of Billy's life support pod to undo what he has made, to murder Billy. I know, I, I know. 
I am supposed to be dead. No, no such luck. I am older than Sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Urkov discovered in my research a workaround. Turning the cells in the human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. After Miles shuts down the life support pod, the wall rider, now without a host, attacks Miles and fuses itself with his body, taking him as its new host. As Miles limps towards the exiting pain, the doors open, revealing Dr. Warnicle and several soldiers. The soldiers open fire, but Warnicle realizes that Miles has become the new sentient host. As the screen fades to black, the wall rider can be heard attacking as several soldiers scream in agony. <laughs> Outlast the whistleblower, the wall rider makes several appearances. In the hospital, it would attack Wayland on sight in some areas. However, throughout most areas, it is simply there for visual effects and will not harm him. At the break of dawn near the asylum's entrance, the wall rider kills Jeremy Blair in a manner similar to how Chris Walker was slaughtered. Mr. Park. <laughs> In the end, the form of Miles inside the swarm of nanites is visible from Miles' car and moves towards Waylon. While starting the car and turning towards the gates, the wall rider dissipates around the car before Wailing accelerates and rams through the front gates.
press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Alias, the swarm, God, the thing in the dark, supernatural, Alp, Mara, Nano Swarm, Nano Cloud. Born, created in 1947, age, chronologically 66, gender, unknown, height, 6 foot 9, 207 centimeters, eyes, white, status, alive, location, unknown. And that ends yet another episode of History Behind the Horror. So the Wall Rider. Learned to actually, I learned a little bit more making this video than I did when I previously played the game, which was the variants, the ones like Traeger and all of them. I never knew that they was actually put in that little morphogenic engine to turn them in crazy to crazy people. But I know Traeger wasn't in the morphogenic engine but um some of the variants that was in it like most of the crazy normal variants prisoners that was in there asylum patients or whatever you want to call them went through that therapy which made them turn crazy i'm thinking they just crazy people because it's a mental asylum but that's not the case they was actually mental people but they was like not as dangerous mental patients so if that makes any sense but anyway Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like because it helped me out a lot. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't because you will be the, if you do, you will be the first to know when a new video is available and you wouldn't want to miss what's coming up next. So thank y'all again for watching this video. Thank y'all so much for hitting over 300 subscribers and thank you so much for all the interaction you guys put into the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Make sure you see the next video and I will see you on the next episode of History Behind the Horror.